Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. This is another SAP 2000 uh, tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform a nonlinear pushover analysis. Uh, pushover analysis can be linear and nonlinear. So mostly we use nonlinear because we want to evaluate the uh, assistance structure uh, capacities. So this is the structure when you consider uh, to evaluate, you will put some displacement target displacement on top of the structure and push it, push it. And finally, the structure will go to these four steps. So the first one is elastic parts, which is uh, immediate occupancy, and the second one is li life safety, and this one is the collapse prevention and finally collapsed so that means after you see that uh, uh, sort of damage and you will uh, evaluate this one it cost 25 percent 50 percent of the entire structure uh, total cost and also how much time take is about this one is a very uh, approximate calculation for the uh, repairing time and also this is also defined the same behavior to the uh, FEMA. Now we want to uh, take a very simple structure, which that, that means the structure is already designed and it's an existing structure. We want to evaluate based on this to see how the structure responds to us. Now we can, there is two uh, popular code which is considering FEMA, uh, considering pushover analysis. The one is FEMA, one is AC41. So both is for the structure, existing structure rehabilitation and earthquake assessment. So how we conduct this one, we first model the structure and then define nonlinear rotational hinges and we will define some gravity load. We also can apply the depth plateau load and then uh, define an, uh, a random analysis and then see the result. So for this we will, I will use uh, kilonewton meters and a very simple model 3D using uh, three stories and with these, with these uh, properties and you can see here, that I'm going to click one when the window is okay. Now the first is I want to assign a um, restraint. That means we are going to use fixed under condition here. And the second is I want to add some gravity load, including the self load. So here is some dead load and assign. Assign here and considering gravity load. And here is called frame load, distributed load. So here I want to use 10 kN pad. Uh, Per meters. So now here is 10, uh, 10 kilonewton per meters. So the next, uh, we want to select these beams again, and this time I want to define uh, nonlinear hinges to the end of the end of these beams. So the first one is zero. I'm selecting the degree of freedom m, and here is using that table, which is uh, from this code, from this code. If you check this code, if you have, and you go to exactly to this table, and you will see the moment safety factor and also the rotational safety factor of parameters for the specific cross section. So here is available, which is yeah, here is the code. Uh, uh, automatic and available program will be determined for us. It's very good things. Okay, and the uh, other end of the problem is one. So I'm gonna apply it. And the beam, the hinge, the linear hinge is added in the beam ends. So now I selected the columns and I'm going to delete this one and zero. And this time I select column. So I select column. So the degree of freedom considering actual force as well, you can consider. And also moving two, moving three. So just moving three is enough. And again, the same. So I'm going to apply. So the Hinges, nonlinear hinges apply to the end of the beam columns. So next, I'm gonna select all, and I wanna assign a hinge override. So this one, I'm gonna call it. Okay, and the hinge override is added. So now I can see the hinge properties. I can come to the hinge, and this hinge is created. If you want to see, and this is the giving data for the behaviors like this curve so the i o in this uh, a b c d e so this parameter is giving here so a b c d e you can calculate this manually or you can get from that code from that table so now we finished here we want to define uh, the 
load cases or pushover cases. So uh, we can conduct pushover case, pushover analysis using the model response, the model, uh, the first mode shape, and also we can considering the displacement in the in the in this point and in the dimension one. So if I uh, use this mode, and I can, uh, I should give like six mode shape because it's a three story and six mode shape is okay. So I'm gonna considering the load pattern is Vx, just we want that should be in a x direction. So this is 2D, one is okay now, okay? And next we wanna define a pushover. So the pushover is uh, nonlinear, you select nonlinear, you can considering the mode load case should be modo. And also you can bring the load case from the nonlinear date load as well. So you can considering the geometric nonlinear it as well. And for your comparison study, you can conduct this three and see how the response is changed. Now here we have two options. One is load. We have three options. In case if you have some lateral load, you applied in the top of the structure and you want to uh, evaluate the structure based on that giving load, you can use lateral load and you can, from the load pattern, you should say lateral load. And here is acceleration also, we can do it. Give a minus to push in this right direction and add. Or we can considering the first mode shape, which is the mode is defined in the earlier. So both, uh, you can just for uh, um, a sort of uh, um, comparison study, so you can conduct this one. So this is, uh, I can conduct this one. And now here is the displacement. I check the displacement control. You can control the full load. Uh, here is the, uh, so automatically program give us about 10% of the drift. So this is 30 eight centimeters and uh, it will detect the top of the nodes that top is there a degree of freedom one so okay and here is the result should save in more steps so that's better we can see in each step what happened so it means step by step the load is pushed the structure and here is some nonlinear parameters you can check this one as you wish but it will affect the time of the analysis now it's okay and okay uh, we are done and we want to save the model and the push over. And now I'm going to run the analysis. So, run. so this sometimes we will get this, uh, this result because uh, first I created the hinge and then I changed again. I'm going to back to this one if you want to show this, that one. You have to select all and go to frame aside and we just give override. Change over, I think I call this one fly. So now it's okay, and so you will not see this uh, uh, that uh, error again or that windows again. So now it's finished, and here is uh, I go back to the pushover, and I can select pushover. And it's step one, I want to see IOLS, or you also can see PS. And finally, this one is uh, step one, and here is just in the elastic region. So if I uh, click this uh, arrows and go to the second one, and this is and this is the fourth, which is the first uh, immediate occupancy is begin or life safety. Sorry, the green one is life safety. And now we can go further. Step ten is yeah. This is the middle column, which is the gravity, is here. So it seems uh, the collapse prevention, yeah. So the last one is 15 is the collapse is in the middle column. So it's obvious because the loading is here quite large in this column has large gravity load so that, that will be uh, collapsed. Yeah, now the entire structure is collapsed. So there is no further, yeah, still there is further mode. The structure is collapsed here, yeah, we do not need to go further. We can go to the display curve and you call push over static and we want to see here is the curve. It is work perfectly and it's going to be the structure resisting and finally collapsed. So this is the curve which the program gave us. And we can also uh, display table and we can see this data here. And we can 
we can export this data here and export to the Excel. And so we are in Excel sheet here and we can uh, go back. This was meters and we can give millimeter. That will be better. And here is the graph. And we can go to format. making some larger so this is it so you can exactly you can you will get this curve so we go here and here finally here so you can observe the entire uh, points collapse prevention collapse everything so this is the uh, we finished the uh, analysis and we can see the result so so this was the uh, pushover, now in a pushover analysis. If you have any question, please put it in the comment and I will find time to answer you. See you next time.